Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna look at some people today that need to quit their bullshit. <laughs> Cause they were caught lying on the internet. On the interwebs. When you forget to log off main. Why Parasite is an objectively bad movie. Your review is garbage, no one will agree with you. His reviews are good, you're just salty, he has a different opinion than you. Uh, did you forget to log out of your main? <laughs> Seems like it. You know, these people just want someone to agree with them. So instead of actually finding someone to agree with them, they just create a fake account and make it look like people agree with them. <laughs> My son works at Lowe's, their new COVID policy. One, if you're vaccinated and get COVID, you will be paid during sick leave. Two, if you aren't vaccinated and get COVID, you will be fired. My son said that the rest of the unvaccinated are finally getting vaccinated. And Lowe's responded, Lowe's does not terminate employees for contracting COVID-19 regardless of vaccination status, nor do we make sick pay determinations based on vaccination status. Well, that's friggin' embarrassing. I hope more people saw that tweet because like the original one got like 80,000 favorites. Well, that's just misleading. Why you gotta lie about that, huh? I don't get it. Little Nas X responds to criticism of his industry baby music video. Y'all hate gay people. And Little Nas X responds, criticism is this song is not good. Not someone saying you are the reason people are getting AIDS. But y'all just can't take criticism. You just can't handle negative opinions. Like people are entitled to their opinions. Certain criticism is not criticism. It's, it's more just like fueled hate and anger and harassment, really. There's a very specific difference between criticism and harassment. And it's not a fine line either. It's very obvious. The lady was rude when I called back. When you apply for a position, you don't show up to the interview the first time because you are busy. Then given another chance and not show up two more times, you should at least not complain when we tell you good luck. That is so weird. That is so, that you, you're just good. The audacity. Literally the audacity. You think he's slick though. You think so? I would leave a negative review. Clearly you don't want the job that bad. Terrible service. Abusive to my dog and all other dogs that visit her business. This is a false review. I've never groomed your dog. <laughs> Literally never seen you before. Do you think that there's just people that just go around leaving negative reviews because they find it funny? Or do you think that there's like actually like they know the people? You know what I mean? I feel like it's a little of both. Guys, I'm screaming. His card was declined. If it was insufficient funds, it would have said reason 2001 because it said 2000. It only means that you went on a date alone, put a wrong pin on your card just so you could get that card decline receipt and post it for clout. <laughs> what a sad life. Shame. I feel sorry for you. Oh, dang. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, nice eye. Y'all are smart. Dang. Hi, who is this? I am Derek, okay? I am from FBI agent. Nice. You are under arrest. Sweet. For what? <laughs> because someone reports you of sending your nude pics on social media and we have all the proof with us here. Oh yeah? Yeah? When did sending nudes become illegal and when did the FBI not be able to fully type grammatically correct sentences? Next time you try to scam people, try better. What's the point of this scam? You're saying that you have my nudes and you're gonna do what exactly with them? Are you trying to get nudes? Like, what's the point of this? I don't get it. What do you want? What do you want? Like, if you know what movie that's from. Like, anyway. <laughs> like, would you? Jesus. <laughs> this is a yes or no answer. Do you directly slash personally know anyone that has had the COVID-19 virus? No. Your niece has it at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Got called out! Got called out! Oh, it doesn't fit your agenda, I see. Redditor posts video from Oregon Zoo's website claiming it's their backyard quickly gets called out. My backyard is officially the top bear b, &B spot. You live at the Oregon Zoo? <laughs> I mean, that's cute. I can see how, I can see why you'd think that having a bear taking a bath in your bathtub would be like a flex. I can see how you would want that. But as a Canadian, being that close to a bear is, is a bit is a bit worrisome. I'd, I'd be a little careful, unless you're Russian. <laughs> if our love was tragedy, why are you my remedy? Song lyrics now? No, it's a poem I wrote for you. So your name is Porter Robinson. No, WTF. Then you didn't write that. <laughs> this was the second time they tried pushing off something as their own. Homie really wants to get laid, what can I say? My sergeant in the army once said our short runs are 23 miles in one hour. Yes, that is completely possible seeing that the world record fastest marathon is over two hours at 13.2 mile pace. Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh. Bad, bad. Not good. We have no record of you in our system. No purchases and no history. Even in the inactive file, which goes back 15 years. From your Google photos, I see you were recently in Yellowstone, which is coincidentally where the Rainbow Pool Geyser is located. Did you really give that poor geyser a one-star review? What did it do to you? <laughs> That's so weird. What the hell? It says the OP leaves a bad review for a pool company after visiting Geyser thousands of miles away. Man, like somebody's got the time. That's so weird. You're not blank. I'm blank. I just update my account. Where did we meet? I'm wondering if you have heard anything about the Gradient Grant Community Outreach Supports Program. Question mark, question mark, question mark. When in doubt, just don't answer the question and follow up with another question. You might have forgotten. No, I know exactly how I met you. I'm wondering if you have heard anything about the Gradient Grant Community Outreach Supports Program. How? When? Stop impersonating people. It's wrong and illegal. It's a specifically placed grants to assist people of paying for bills, buying a home, starting their own business, going to school or even helping raise their children with old and retired people. You are impersonating blank. Your account has been reported. For real. Bye. It seems you're not okay. <laughs> Stop trying to scam people. Get <coughs> off. Scam who? You this poor <coughs> <laughs> What? Because that made so much sense. After waiting for 65 minutes for our food to arrive, it never made it. Then you have to cook your own food. As I was leaving, when staff was rude and confrontational and not at all apologetic. Then staff asked why I was mad. I didn't pay for it yet. I never got it. Bad experience, I don't expect them to last very long. Daniel, we are sorry to hear that you had a wait this evening. It was quite busy, but we're never happy when wait times are long. At the same time, your behavior was actually confrontational. You're a man in your 50s, maybe, and you verbally attacked and was quite aggressive with two of our young female staff, even pushing one of them. You then proceeded to purposely knock over all of our glassware at the server station. If you'd ever like to see just how boorish you were, we'd be happy to send you and your family and maybe even your employer the security video. In any event, you're not welcome back to our house until you apologize to our staff, Mike Owner. And that is how it's done. But by all means, play the victim. Go right ahead. Sorry, not real Thai food. They put carrots in everything. A good sign people who have never been to Thailand have cooked your food. Ask you for $3 to put a few dashes of fish sauce into your papaya salad, which has no fresh chilies or garlic. Kind of like charging you for your mayonnaise for your coleslaw without mayo in it. It's just carrots and cabbage. Hope they get on the ball. Chef Blank, the owner, was born in the Isan province of Thailand and trained at the Royal Palace in Bangkok. <laughs> if you would like to call and speak with the chef, she would be more than happy to address these concerns. She loves cooking for people and would make you another dish if you let her know. Kill him with kindness. Literally trained at the Royal Palace. <laughs> okay, can I see your face? You first, but I ask first. I always follow the lady's first rule. Okay. I told you I write software mining crypto. You think I wouldn't be smart enough to do a reverse image search? What the you mean? <laughs> That's a porn <laughs> star. That's not you. I'm not dumb. What the you mean? It's not me. That's Elsa Jean, the adult film star. I've seen plenty of her videos. Do not insult me, okay? That is me. What did you search? Like random blonde girl? Hot blonde girl. Search in Google. I know what you're doing. Chill in with my beautiful girlfriend. Is this real? <laughs> Proceeds to post pictures of teen playful Alice showing off her hot body. No, no. That is my beautiful girlfriend. Out with the hubby. Enjoy a few much needed cocktails. I thought you were covering for your boss since his dad died. If you guys didn't want to come over for dinner, that's fine, but you didn't have to make up such a terrible excuse. My dad is very much alive. <laughs> I'm assuming that's her boss. Wow! Got caught lying and then called out. Spicy. Spicy. Did you forget that you lied to everybody? Seems like it. Dear Eric, you are very handsome, nice, and intelligent. I'm so happy you came into my life. <laughs> 91 people like this. Well, this is awkward. Isn't this anonymous? Not when you post it on our wall. <laughs> this is so sad. Dumb. <laughs> Priceless, so embarrassing. How exactly do you come into your own life? <laughs> Dude, you need to delete this before it hits Twitter. It's too late. Eric, it's too late. It's, it's, it's done. You let it get to 91 likes. What were you trying to do? Tell me you don't know how to use Facebook without telling me you don't know how to use Facebook. My phone is dead. Dang, babe, we can't text. 
posted via mobile. <laughs> oh no, not my phone. It's just dead. It's, I don't know what to do. I think maybe she just made up a lie about her phone being dead so that she wouldn't have to text like this homie right here. I love people that lie to your face. Just like when you told me you didn't cheat on me. Go away. Go away. Takes one to know one, doesn't it? I have decided to announce that I am officially a vegan. After seeing recent videos on Facebook regarding animal cruelty, I have decided that I have had it. Meat and anything dealing with animals is just not for me. I am so proud of my decision, and I feel as if it's a factor of growing up. We are so proud of you. We will always be here to support you. Wow, I could never have this much willpower. You're my role model. Such an inspiration to us all. You keep doing you, baby. You weren't about that life today when you got your Chipotle bowl, half chicken, and half steak lol just all of the types of meat all of them just all of them on there at once why not you are a bot if i was a bot how would i be able to send live pic and videos lol you are a bot if i was a bot <laughs> how would i be able to send live pic and videos lol <laughs> All righty, guys, those are some liars that need to quit their BS and stop lying on the internet. All right. It's embarrassing for both you and me. I'm getting secondhand embarrassment by watching you lie and make a fool of yourself.